Welcome, welcome everybody to Ignite Humanity Live. I'm your host, Lady J.B. Owen, and I am delighted to be here today. We are talking to you on this beautiful Tuesday about ways for you to ignite humanity and step into your trajectory, your possibilities, what you're capable of, of igniting the world and igniting those around you and igniting one person at a time. Now more than ever, we have to be dedicated to making this world a better place. And we each have our role and our responsibility to do so. And this show is all about showing you ways to do just that. How you can step into a greater version of you with tiny little trips, 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 tricks and tips on the ways that you can do things in your life to begin to up level, to awaken, to open up your consciousness and to find ways for you to live exactly the life you have always wanted to live. In fact, I often say, imagine what the world would be like if we were all living in the center of what's possible for us, if we were all doing exactly what we love, if we were truly enjoying every single day. And folks, I truly believe that is possible. And each and every one of us committed to it can make it happen. Well, today is Awaken Day. We love to talk about themes on the show. And so today's theme for Tuesday is always about awaking. So how can you wake up? How can you wake up to what's possible for you? Wake up to your dreams. Wake up and do those things you wish. Wake up and really fulfill those accomplishments that you are going after. How can you wake up and learn more? Wake up and be excited. Wake up and love and connect and create camaraderie with people around you. Camaraderie with people maybe you have never met before. People that you haven't worked with before. People that you haven't talked to before. How can you start to form relationships with new individuals? And one of the ways I believe that's possible is through understanding each other's story. We all have an Ignite moment, a story within us of where we came from and how we lived our lives and how we got to here and where we are in this journey that we're on. And learning those stories and learning about people, really understanding them is what will bring us closer together. We don't need policies and regulations. We don't need to be told what to do. We actually need to be connected with one another, and we do that through powerful Ignite moments and learning about people on an intrinsic level. Well, we've got a great guest today, and she's going to show us some wonderful things, talk about some amazing ways for us to ignite our lives. Nicole Mixdorf is a number one international bestselling author, keynote speaker, and the founder and chief wellness officer of Balance by Nature. Excuse me. Nicole is a prolific speaker, master teacher, and healer, delivering master classes on inspirational personal development and wellness. Her passion, wisdom, and enthusiasm draw her audience in to uncover deep truths about themselves so they can live their very best lives. And her unique brilliance lies in her ability to instantly put people at ease and uplift everyone of everyone, uplift everyone's energy of everyone around her. She's passionate about teaching executives and busy professionals how to create sustainable balance and thrive. And she has been recognized as the most influential woman in corporate wellness services in USA four years in a row, top 100 healthcare leader in the world, thought leader of our generation, top 50 woman business leader in Los Angeles, and top 10 successful business leader revamping the future. Fantastic, amazing. She's a powerhouse. She's amazing. And she's here in the house. Welcome, Nicole, to Ignite Humanity Live. Oh, thank you so much for having me. It's just an honor to be here with you. Powerhouse you are. I do agree. Congratulations. Such great accolades. And I always love seeing what people have achieved and the status that they have reached. It's so wonderful and powerful. Let me ask you, though, how does it feel the journey that it took to get there? I always I'm always interested about the journey. The finish line is fantastic. The end goal is always the starting line of something else. But for me, it's the journey. It's the process. It's the pieces in between the end result. Can you share a little bit about that? Because some people are on that journey right now in their lives. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's all about the journey. You know, I've been through so much since I started this business, since I started on this path uh, to wellness and to inspiring people to live their best lives. 
And some of it has been amazing. And there's been these incredible high highs. And there have also been a lot of really low lows at the same time as well. There has just been um, life, right? Mm -hmm. Life throws so much at us all of the time. And the one beautiful thing that I've been able to do really well is to stay super focused on my big purpose and why I'm doing what I'm doing, which just feels like I'm being pulled into that direction. I'm being guided. I'm being led. And that's allowed me to just overcome a lot of the challenges along the journey and to enjoy the path every single day. Because even when we deal with a lot of hardship and challenges that get thrown our way as well, there's always so much beauty that's happening in our lives at the same moment. And whatever we choose to focus on is going to be what grows. And I think that all entrepreneurs and all people who are on a path, we get into that because we have a vision of what we want to create. And we think it's going to be this straight line to get exactly where we want to go. But oftentimes it's, it's not that way. And the real test is what do we do when we're thrown across? curveball? How do we handle that? And can we stay focused on the beautiful parts of our lives so that we can get enjoyment out of every single day of the journey, regardless of what we're dealing with in our lives? For me, that has allowed me to achieve so much success along the way. So well said, and I appreciate, I always like to see both sides of the shiny penny because mm -hmm. we do see a lot of uh, people accomplishing things, but at the same time, there's work, there's strategy, and there are some trials and tribulations. And I'm like you, I think all of that just makes it better, gives us that muscle, that strength to really focus on where it is we want to go. Now your purpose, and I know it very well, is really about wellness. I recently was in Hong Kong at an event and a speaker spoke about, and it was quite interesting, he said stocks and bonds and real estate, yes, people have been investing that for years, but the new true investment is in wellness, it's in mm -hmm. longevity, it's in your health, it's in living as long as possible, as healthy as possible. And that really was a light bulb moment for me because I thought it's so true. When you have your health, you have everything in all honesty. Let's talk a little bit about that, that passion and that purpose you have for wellness. Oh, absolutely. And I relate to that, that message and that sentiment so much because I have been on a healing journey over the course of the last 12 years and throughout launching and growing uh, my business. And I'll tell you from my own experience of having dealt with just different illness is that you don't realize just how important your health is until you don't have it. And it's in that moment that you go, wow, there's literally nothing more important than my health in my life. Because if I have my vitality, if I can feel good every day, then I can do the work that I'm meant to do in this world. And when you're challenged in that area of your life, it definitely puts everything into perspective. You know, all the little stuff that you get stuck on sometimes just doesn't hold as much significance any longer. So for me, my purpose has been to teach other people how to heal themselves as well. So as I've gone on this healing journey, as I have evolved, as I have healed myself, as I have introduced all these holistic healing modalities and practices into my life and experienced some amazing healing miracles on my path, it's just inspired me to just share that and open that up and open people's eyes and help awaken them to the possibilities that can exist within themselves, to not ever settle for what the doctors may say is, you know, you're doomed for this or having other people put you in a box. The one thing I've learned is that your answers are out there. And it's just a matter of continuing to take one step in front of the other and stay open to the possibilities and be willing to try something new, something different, and just be amazed at the results that you can get on the path. Yeah, I really appreciate that. And I know you've been on your own healing journey. And that's what makes us such good teachers is when we're good students. <laughs> we, have, we learn what we need to know to teach what we need to teach. I'd love to talk a little bit about the slow ebb because some people feel like, well, I'm healthy. There's nothing wrong with me. I don't have any chronic or nothing is, you know, big and shocking. But there is this slow ebb where 
we start to, you know, lose our flexibility or we, you know, constantly have a bit of a stomach ache or, you know, our eyes aren't working so great. Like it's a little, it's, it's not really, really bad, but it's, it's slow progression. And I know that you can speak to that because there's also this slow progression to improvement. Yes. And it doesn't have to be all or none. We don't have to go cold turkey and, you know, change every single thing about our lives. But when we see this slow movement downward, we can course correct to have this slow movement upward. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. And I'm so glad that you brought that up because the the strain, I will call it, that on our bodies and our minds that come from stress and overwhelm is cumulative over time. And we feel like invincible when we're young, like we can just conquer the world, that we can just do anything that we want. And as we get a little bit older, we might, you know, experience a little bit of some shifts, some changes going on in our body. And it's so important that we listen and we pay attention to what our body is trying to tell us. Because all those little symptoms that you talked about is our body trying to speak to us, to tell us that something is out of alignment in our lives that something isn't quite right. And we have an opportunity to pay attention and do something about it when it's little whispers. And if we don't pay attention when those little whispers are coming in, then it starts getting louder and louder and louder and louder until you can't ignore it anymore, until that's when you get into a crisis. And what we want to do is avoid the crisis from happening in the first place by just bringing so much more awareness into the body, into how we're feeling on a day-to-day -day basis so that we can course correct so that we can be intentional about creating more sustainable balance in our lives so we can let go of some of the stress and we can release some of that negative impact that it's creating physiologically in the body. Yeah, let's talk about awareness because sometimes, and I'm super guilty of this, where, you know, I will mention something to someone like, oh, I haven't eaten all day and, you know, it's 4.30 in the afternoon. And the other person will be like, well, that's strange or that's not healthy or <laughs> right? do you, do you realize that. And somehow in our own minds, we just sort of glossed over it or, oh, I've had a stomach ache for weeks or, you know, my back pain has been, you know, come back and forth for years now. And we're like adapted to it somehow or impervious to it. We don't even realize it. So let's start right with awareness on becoming aware of those signals. Cause you're right. If we don't listen to the whisper, it becomes a shout. And then from a shout, it becomes a slap down and then we're in big trouble. So yep. can you share about the awareness piece to the making a, making a change piece? Yeah. Awareness is everything because change truly begins with awareness. You have to start paying attention to the situation that you're in. And in this situation, in this case that we're talking about, it's the signs that your body is giving you. So it's like, start to pay attention, start to notice because we do normalize so much that isn't normal. You know, we put up with so many things and in reality, it's not the way that we should be feeling. You know, something is out of harmony in the body. I always tell people, you know, if you're trying to build awareness about your stress, you need to start paying attention to the signs your body, the signals that your body is giving you that your body is in the stress response and those stress hormones are being secreted into your bloodstream. So if you find yourself in the middle of your day at any time holding your breath, that's a sign you're in the stress response. Now, we don't notice that we're holding our breath. What we notice is the big sigh. So you'll all of a sudden do one of these. <sighs> and you go, whoa, like where did that come from? And sometimes it's somebody else who's sitting near you that noticed that you did this big sigh. It's because you were holding your breath. Are you clenching in your jaw? Are you tightening in your shoulders? Are you feeling a knot in your stomach? Are you feeling like a little bit of like a headache starting on? Are you starting to feel a little irritable? Are you starting to feel like a little angry, a little frustrated, a little upset? All of those are signals that your body's active in that stress response, in that fight or flight response in that moment, which is increasing our heart rates, increasing our blood pressure. It's secreting more glucose, more sugar in our bloodstream. It's shutting down the immune system. It's shutting down the reproductive system. It's shutting down our digestive system. 
all to prepare us to fight our way out of a situation or to, to flee, to get out of there. But if the stress is really being caused by too many emails or something else that's going on in our life, it's not a we're in danger situation right now. Our body doesn't know the difference. So we're experiencing all those physiological changes and it's up to us to just bring that awareness to kind of go, oh, like I'm feeling frustrated right now. Like this is my opportunity to take a quick moment to stop what I'm doing, take a quick break, take a few deep breaths to calm that, that, that stress response down and elicit the calming response in the body so that you can feel good and stop all of that negative physiological change that's happening in that moment. Yeah, it's really important advice because I think about my kids and when they're little, you teach them how to self-soothe, you teach them how to self-regulate, you teach them how to find mechanisms to support themselves. When we get older, we kind of forget that. We self-medicate with the fridge or with the phone or with social media or with something else. And we forget that we do have this ability to self-regulate, self-calm, and really do something healthy for ourselves. Yeah. I always love to give our listeners some good tips and ideas. Can you share with us some strategies that you're using or you feel would be valuable for us to put into our lives? Yeah. And these are going to sound really simple and it's because they are. Okay. Sometimes the best solutions are the easiest, most simple ones. Number one, build that awareness. So start listening to the signs of your body. That's huge. That's everything. Number two, take breaks. We are not designed to sit at these desks all day long. Our bodies aren't designed for that. And when you notice that you're under stress, that you're in those moments, take some deep breaths. Start learning some breath work techniques. There's so many. They're really easy to just Google and find some different ones. Or you can find a teacher or practitioner that can teach you some breathing techniques that will help to calm the nervous system down. There's other breathing techniques that will help you improve your focus, help you feel more calm more grounded, et cetera. So that's always great. Also get outside. If you find yourself just feeling a little bit like unsettled, go outside, put your feet in the grass, put your feet in the earth. There's something called earthing, which allows us to recalibrate our energy and recalibrate our vibration just by putting our feet in the ground. We just instantly calm down. We instantly feel better. The other thing to do just to feel more balance in your day is to start your day the right way. So give to yourself, feed yourself, fuel your body, fuel your mind first thing in the morning before you start giving everything away to everyone else. Because we're constantly giving to our partner, giving to our kids, giving to our colleagues, giving to our clients. We're just giving, 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 giving. And if you don't give to yourself first, then you're giving from a place of depletion. And that's going to only deplete you even more and accelerate whatever is going on in your mind and your body that makes you feel out of balance. So take the first 5, 10, 15 minutes in the morning to do something that feels good to you, that doesn't involve looking at your phone. Because the moment that you look at your phone, and it's whether it's the emails, the text messages, social media, God forbid the news, first thing in the morning, what we're doing is we're allowing outside influences to influence how we feel on the inside. So when you pick up your phone and you look at that first thing in the morning, you are literally giving away all of your power. So the way to reclaim your power, to reclaim your balance is to not even look at that for the first half hour until you're done getting yourself ready kind of in the morning, then you can start with what I need to do externally. So take care of your inner world first, do something that lights you up, something that fills you up, something that makes you feel good. And then that will be leave you better prepared to handle everything that your day has in store for you. Yeah, it's such good advice because the last thing we need is when we wake up fresh in the morning is to instantly go like, you know, all the things I didn't do or all the things that are unhappening and to remind yourself that it's, I always tell myself, it's all going to be okay. No one is bleeding from the jugular. <laughs> it's all okay. We can figure it all out. Yeah. And I recently had this great realization that everything has a solution and everything has a resolution. And I just keep saying that because it just puts you in better harmony that it's all okay. 
Now, shifting gears slightly, you're a huge proponent of Igniting Humanity. I want to say thank you for being a part of Igniting Humanity really since day one. You've been a part of it, uh, being in our film, being in our book, being really an advocate and an avatar for Igniting Humanity. Can you make the correlation for the listeners on how important your own personal health is and how that parlays into what we're trying to do to make humanity really a place for all of us to be well and happy in? Yeah, I mean, it all starts with the self, right? You know, you have to be the example that you want to show in the world. So you have to get yourself feeling good. You have to be that shining light and then you can light the path for others to follow. I mean, for me, what you were doing with Ignite Humanity spoke to me on a very deep level because that's what I'm trying to do too. I'm trying to help awaken people and help people get inspired to believe in themselves again, to reconnect with their sense of self, to tap into their own purpose, to you know figure out what gifts they wanna share with the world and how they can release stress and release trauma and release all of the things that have been holding them back from living their best life. To me, that's what igniting humanity is all about is how can we bring people together, wake people up and tap people into this beautiful purpose that they came here to, to serve and fulfill. So I am just so grateful for the opportunity um, to be on this path and on this journey of igniting humanity with you. Folks, isn't she amazing? Because like when she was saying that, like she was glowing and lighting up and you just spoke so directly mm -hmm. to my heart. And I want to say thank you so much for just being a part of this because it isn't easy to decide to ignite humanity and it isn't easy to decide to inspire wellness and to change people's habits and to get people to move in a new direction. And so bravo to you. We have a few minutes left. I'd love to know what do you think are some of the ways that people can create healthy habits, healthy mindset? I know you do a lot with your business, with your brand, with the way that you promote uh, wellness in the community. We'll share in a few moments how people can connect with you. But I would love a little bit, I'd love people to leave today's show, you know, getting up knowing that they can make a change right now. Yeah, there is always an opportunity to start over with every single breath that we take. And so often in life, we feel like, you know, we need to, we need to set our resolutions on January 1st or wait for our birthday or whatever. But the truth is you can change your life right now in any moment. And that's the most beautiful thing that anything that has led you up until this moment is what has just prepared you along the way. So you can decide to look at like your life experience and take what I call the happiness test and just and look at every aspect of your life and ask yourself this question. Am I happy? Am I happy in my relationships? Am I happy in my career? Am I happy with my finances? Am I happy with my health? Am I happy with my mindset? If the answer is yes, awesome. Like you're on the right path, keep going. If the answer is no, don't worry about it. What that is uncovering is that you have an amazing opportunity right now to evaluate that part of your life and go, huh, well, if this isn't exactly what I want, what is what I want? Where would I like to see this go? How would I like this part of my life to look? And if you can just start tapping into creating a vision for where you would rather be, then you have a direction to point yourself towards. Because I believe that Everyone, every single desire that we have was placed into our hearts for a reason, and we are meant to fulfill those things. And if you can picture it in your mind's eye, you can create it in your life. So it's never too late to start over. And we all have the power to reconnect with our sense of self and tap into our innate inner power to be the creators of the life that we want. Yes, 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 yes. I almost want to stand up. If I wasn't mic'd up, I'd be like, yes, 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 because it's so <laughs> true. And you know, I say that all the time. Do what makes you happy. Do yes. what makes you happy. Yes. And you can even take that a step further to only do what makes you happy. Only do what makes you happy. So I am a huge proponent of that and so, so agree with you. Well, tell us, we'll put it up on the link, how people can find you. You can go to balancebynature.com. Share a little bit about what they'll find there, Nicole, so they know what they're looking for. 
Yeah, definitely. So Balance by Nature is our award-winning corporate well-being and culture development company. We work with organizations of all sizes to create really inspired wholeness cultures within different organizations where employees are supported and showing up as their whole selves. So when you go onto our website, you're going to find a lot of information about the different types of corporate well-being programs that, uh, that we offer. And I am also on different social media channels. So you can find me there if you're ever looking for just little doses of inspiration. That's really what I love to deliver more than anything. Thank you so much, my darling. Nicole is amazing. She has taken care of me so many times when I show up in LA for business. She's always making sure I'm feeling well and taking care of me and putting some balance into my life. I love you so much. Thank you for being here. Blessings. And we appreciate you igniting humanity. Thank you for having me. Well, as you can see, folks, there's little things that you can do that make a massive impact and incremental movement in your lives to start changing the way you feel about your body. And when you feel better, you perform better. And when you perform better, you do things that is radiates out to others and it gives them permission to do the same. So start working on your wellness. Start thinking about how you can create some balance in your life. Use some of those techniques that Nicole shared to calm yourself down and really be in a place where you are doing what makes you happy. It's not instantaneous. It's not something that happens immediately. We have to practice it. We have to commit to it. We have to do it daily. And really that's part of the human journey is really deciding how you wanna live your life and doing it your way. All right, well, if you'd like to watch this episode again or any of our other episodes, please jump on over to our platform. We make all of our episodes available 100% free so you can access them. We don't retarget you in any way. We just want to gift out this information. Of course, you can go to Traverse TV and see us on our VOD. We're also every single day, Monday to Friday, on our Facebook Live, and we're available on YouTube. We want you to get this content, and we want you to share it with others. So please, if we said something that you enjoy, let other people know about it. If you're igniting humanity and doing something special in your life, well, tell us about it. Fill out our type form and let us know, and we would love to have you on the show. And... If you know somebody else who's doing something pretty cool, fill out the type form for them and we can reach out to them. Now, we have just returned from Indonesia after building our two-classroom school in Lombok. It was such an incredible experience. Our mandate and devotion is to igniting literacy. So if you'd like to be a part of our project and help us build our next school, please go to our link below and donate a little bit of funds because every single dollar buys a brick for us to build our schools. And we know that you and your support is going to make that happen. Well, big blessings, everybody. We hope you have a great day. If you wanna know more what we're up to, check out our website at ignitehumanity.life and you can see everything we're doing. Now, Nicole's part of our compilation book about igniting humanity. If you wanna write your story, be published and be a part of a community making a massive difference, we would love for you to join that program. Go check out our website or go to igniteyou.life and find out how you can be a part of that and be in igniting humanity and published and a part of this amazing movement to make a difference in the world. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Big hugs and kisses. Have a great day and go out and ignite your life. Now, more than ever, we need to come together to connect with one another. We need to feel the truth in who we are and let go of everything that's happened in the past. We need to empower every person on the planet and awaken hearts, enliven souls, come together, laugh, play, rejoice, connect, create, and love. It's time to ignite humanity. We want you to be a part of something that will impact the future for everyone. We want you to tell your story, share your Ignite moment, show people who you truly are. Be a part of igniting humanity and making a difference in the world and all of our futures.